Hey, this is Professor Perez. Today we're gonna to work on absolute value. Of course, we gotta get Charlie out. He better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, ready to go? Yeah, all right, here we go, right there. Absolute value. Absolute values actually represent distance. That's why they're always positive. That's true. So, absolute value represents a distance. Now, here we go. The absolute value of negative three. No, notice the symbol for absolute value is these two bars around that negative three. So that is the absolute value of negative three. Well, the absolute value of negative three represents the distance, Charlie, between zero and negative three on a number line. So, Charlie, if somebody asks you, how far is it from here to the grocery store? What are you gonna say? Five miles? Yeah, it's gonna be you know, about five miles. You're not gonna tell them it's negative five miles, right? Distances are always positive. That's why absolute values are always positive, right? Okay, now, if we look at the number line here, Charlie, how far apart are negative three and zero on the number line? What's the distance between them? Three. It is three, and that would be your answer. So, let's do this one, the absolute value of three. How far apart is three and zero on the number line, Charlie? Three. Three units, it's right there. So the absolute value of three is three. There you go. How about the absolute value of negative 10, Charlie? Negative 10 is over here, and zero is over there. How far apart are they? 10. 10. So the absolute value of negative 10 is 10. There you go. All right, how about the absolute value of negative three plus five? Well, before you do the absolute value, you've got to simplify what's inside, or do the operation that's inside. In this case, it's an addition problem. Charlie, what's negative three plus five? Two. It's two. Now, you have the absolute value of two. What is the absolute value of two, Charlie? Two. It's two, because the distance between zero and two is two. That's it. Now, over there, absolute value of negative three subtract five. Again, do the operations that are inside the absolute value first. Now, Charlie, what's a negative three subtract five, Charlie? Negative eight. Negative eight. And so now, what is the absolute value of negative eight? Eight. It's eight. There you go. All right. Now, let's move on. We're going to move on to another concept called the opposite. And this is where students kind of get confused because you're going to hear me say opposite and negative. We're so used to using, say, negative when it comes to an opposite. But opposites actually has something to do with distance. You'll see right now. Now, here we're asked, what is the opposite of three? Well, the opposite of three is negative three. What does that mean? Well, both three and negative three each are a distance of three from zero on the number line. Watch. Here's a number line here. Three is over there. It's a distance of three from zero. Negative three is over here, a distance of three. So negative three and three are called opposites of each other. Just like four and negative four would be opposites of each other, five and negative five would be opposites of each other. Now, so here's a question here. What is the opposite of five? Well, if we think of a number line, five is over there. What is opposite of five, Charlie? Negative it's five. It's negative five. Remember, five is a distance of five from zero on that side. On this side, negative five is a distance of five from zero. So they are opposites of each other. And so if somebody asks you, Charlie, what is the opposite of negative five? What would you say? Opposite of negative five is what? Five is the five, okay? It's very simple when they ask you this in words, right? What's the opposite of five? Negative five. What's the opposite of negative five, Charlie? Five. Five. Well, how do you ask this question using math symbols? That's where it gets tricky. So pay close attention, Charlie. Here we go. Right here, we have a negative or an opposite sign. I'm going to read it as an opposite. That is the opposite of five. That's what that statement is asking you. What is the opposite of five, Charlie? Negative five. negative five. That's right. We will soon find out an opposite, taking the opposite of a number is just like multiplying a number by negative one. We'll talk about multiplication with negative numbers in the next video. All right, so the opposite of five is negative five, right? Okay, Charlie, now, what's the opposite of negative five? Five. It's a positive five, that's right. The opposite of a negative number, right? The opposite of a negative number will always be positive. That's sometimes called the double negative rule. And really, we can think of it as the 
the basis of why a negative times a negative is a positive. Okay, we'll get to that in the next video. Anyway, opposite of five, negative five, the opposite of negative five is a positive five. Okay, let's do some problems now. Charlie, what's the opposite of three? Negative three, negative three, that's it. What's the opposite of negative three? Positive three, that's three. Okay, you can think of this as a double negative rule. Negative times negative is positive, that works. All right, now, be careful with this one. This is the opposite of the absolute value of three. The first thing you have to do is you've got to evaluate the absolute value. You've got to take that absolute value. Remember, order of operations never talked about absolute values, did it? Order of operations was parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division done in order working left to right, and then addition and subtractions done in order working left to right. That was order of operations. Now, what is the absolute value of three, Charlie? Three. It's three. So notice, all we've done is we've evaluated the absolute value of three. Don't forget we got that opposite or negative sign. You've got to bring that down. And now the question becomes, just like this first one, that's asking you, what is the opposite of three? It is negative three. And there you go. That's this one over here. Now, pay close attention to this, Charlie. That is the opposite of the absolute value of negative three. That's different from this question up here. This question is saying, what's the opposite of negative three? It's positive three, right? That's asking you what's the opposite of the absolute value of negative three. Well, what is the absolute value of negative three, Charlie? Three. It's three, okay? And don't forget, you could bring down your negative sign, or opposite. And now it becomes, what's the opposite of three? It's a negative three. So be very careful and think about the difference between that absolute value problem at the end and this one here. This is a double negative rule. That's not a double. That's a absolute value. It's the opposite of an absolute value, which gives you a negative number. Tricky, right? All right. Whew. Let's move on. Let's do some problems here. Now, opposite of the difference of 7 subtract 5. Well, order of operations. Do the parentheses first. What's 7 subtract 5, Charlie? 2. 2. Bring down your negative and What's the opposite of two, or what's the negative of two? You can say it that way, it's negative two. There you go. Now, here, we have a difference with a negative sign out sign or an opposite. What's five subtract nine, Charlie? Negative four, negative four. That's done in the parentheses. Bring down your opposite or negative sign. And what's the opposite of negative four? It's four. positive four, or double negative, however you want to think of it. Your answer is four, okay? Now, let's go to the next one. A little tricky here. We have an absolute value over there. What's the, now in the absolute value we have a difference. What's negative three subtract two, Charlie? Negative five. That's a negative five, right? Okay, so an absolute value of negative five. Don't forget to bring down your opposite or negative sign, and don't forget you gotta subtract three at the end. Now, next step. We gotta do that absolute value first. What's the absolute value of negative five, Charlie? Five. Five, bring down your negative sign, Okay, subtract three, and now, what's the opposite of five? Negative five. Negative five, and then we subtract three, and so negative five subtract three is what, Charlie? Negative eight. Negative eight. Very nice there, Charlie, so we're gonna stop right there. Now, I know, this opposite, negative, and you get all confused, but you have to work it out. Everybody thinks differently. Now, get some help with your tutor, your facilitator, your teacher, your parents, or your children, and try to get this straight now, because now we're going to move on to multiplying and dividing negative numbers. And then after that, we go to everybody's favorite subject, fractions. Anyway, we'll see you all again soon.